Hey guys, welcome back to 2020 Tech For You. And today we're gonna to talk about the NVIDIA used GPU market that's online, that's in a whack. We're gonna talk about the prices on like OfferUp, Craigslist, and other online merch places like Newegg and what have you. A little bit about auction sites, but those are those are crazy. Those will take a card that's worth 300 and sell it for seven, eight hundred dollars. And I can't explain to you why auctions work this way. So let's get to it. Because I've been searching for about a week now on these cards. The 16 series is on the Turing Micro Architecture, which is named after an 18th, 19th century mathematician and computer scientist named Alan Turing. The 1650. I saw them ranging anywhere from $50 to $200, depending on the third party that you bought it from. Uh, basically MSI, Zotac, the cooling, uh, if it's three fan, single fan, dual fan, if it has a PCIe power connector, or if it just gets its power straight off the rail. So that's the 1650. And I'm only going back a few years here, guys. I'm just going back to the 16 series and coming up to the 30 series. Now the, 1650 supers i saw these ranging anywhere from 150 to 250 dollars some actually sold for a little bit more but this is the price range that you're going to find them at if you look at the used market you should get at least 30 percent discount because they've been used they're out of the box they've probably been overclocked if you've seen the ad never been overclocked that's a red flag. Now the 1660 is 229 to 270. Some are a little bit lower, but on average, those are the prices, depending again on the third party card. Uh, the 1660 supers were anywhere from $230 to $270 for these cards. The 1660 Ti, 280 to 300 dollars and good luck finding one. I live in Southern California. I searched the IE, Los Angeles, and San Diego. I live in San Bernardino. It puts me in kind of a, like a, a middle ground, you could say. I go straight down to San Diego. I could go east towards Ontario. I could keep going east into Los Angeles. I could go, uh, not east, I'm sorry, west. And then I could go northeast towards Vegas. 20 series. The 2060s, $330 to $360 dollars not much to say about that the 2060 supers were anywhere between 400 and 500 dollars and the internet was plenty full at those prices and you would see them actually go up a lot higher but if you really search and just really really i mean just really look around you could find them for about 325 ish the 2070 on average was 510 on average uh, you can find some minis at about 420 and uh, other sites are pushing that card up to $700. Again, auction sites. Don't do it. Oh, and the only reason I brought that up about the 700 is because they sold. They sold at that $700 price point. So the 2070 Super is a great card and I am, I'm an AMD fanboy, guys. I, I, I like the 5700 XT. I just, I trust AMD ever since Ryzen and I'm gonna keep going with them. When big Navi comes, Navi 2 comes out, RDNA 2, I will be right there. So I know that they're like that drunk friend at the party who's outside yelling and is screaming your name. For you specifically, everybody's looking at you now and you see him and he's just sitting there going, hey, Joe. Joe, come here, now, there you are. Look at the bird, the bird fell out of the tree. And we got, we got, we got to put the tree and the bird in the tree and the bird before the mother finds out. This is why I'm sober. All right, moving on. The RTX 2080, $950 win edition and beyond beyond people beyond for just the 2080 now i'm not talking aio cards i'm not talking water cooled i'm talking blower style cards dual fan triple fan cards so god knows on those ones i didn't even focus on those uh the 2080 super 
This one was really like one of those all over the board. $530, $800, triple, uh, $1,200 for the triple fan cards. 2080 Ti, definitely all over the board. This one's getting slapped the hardest by the 30 series. $1,300 to $2,000 and up. That is definitely a 3090 at that point. A new CPU or more RAM with RGB. RGB. I got rid of the G and the B, but still RGB. I threw in the Titan RTX for fun, $2,500. Now, I looked at the Star Wars editions because I always do. I'm always trying to find these cards. When I was born, my mother took me to the drive-in in the 70s. I am not a boomer. I grew up on Star Wars. So if I could get my hands on those two cards, I would make two separate builds. Uh, Jay, uh, Jay's two cents, he made one build. Uh, I fell in love with it. It is excellent. Go over there, check it out, seriously. Which you probably already have, but wow. It's the only way I would actually go in video. Unless I get a free 30, 80, 90, 80, 70. The 30 series is the Ampere Micro Architecture. Uh, they named this one, believe it or not, after, they named it after a Frenchman he was a mathematician and a physicist. His full name was Andre-Marie Ampere. So the RTX 3070 is 500 bucks. I don't do the 499, 399, uh, 279, 99. That makes no sense. It's 500 bucks tax. Due October, my birthday, October 29th. Let's see, the 3080, which is due September 17th, is a $700 card. Good luck getting any of these cards I'm talking about. And I'm not being sarcastic, guys. I'm being serious. New tech, mainstream, new anything, guys. Every, who doesn't want to be the person with the brand new shiny car out front? Everybody does. So, good luck, guys. Now, the 3090. $1,400. Do whenever they decide it's due. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Down in the comments, let me know what do you guys think about our DNA 2? Do you think AMD has a chance to be a competition for NVIDIA? Or do you guys think Lisa over at AMD is going to buckle, sell them at price just to get them out of the showroom? Or what do you guys think? So you guys really think AMD's got a chance? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for future notifications. We're going to have a second video on AMD's prices. See what's going on in September of 2020 with those cards. Uh, again, guys, like, subscribe, thumbs down, thumbs up. Let me know why thumbs down down in the comments so I could do some better content for you guys. 